you can go, anybody can go out and buy a piece of equipment, like no matter what, right? Like you can go buy a piece of equipment no matter what you want to do. Like, but keeping it busy and doing good work and finding good employees, you're only as good as your employees, right? And your employees, honestly, are only as good as you. If you don't take the time to teach them and to show them and to mentor them and show them how you want things done and how, like there's, there's lots of ways to move dirt, right? There's lots of ways to move dirt. There's a right way and there's lots of wrong ways. And I see a lot of guys out there that do it wrong. They're not being efficient. They're doing, they're, they're stepping over like steps B, C, and D to go to Z. Then they come back, you know, to like D. And you're like, dude, listen, you got you to gotta take this in a process. And a lot of guys don't get that. I think a lot of times I, I, I kind of joke. Just because that machine is sitting there running doesn't make it mean it's making money. If that machine isn't making money, then what are you doing this for? Do you understand how to, to make money with that machine? And a lot of guys don't. And it's at no fault of theirs. It's really how they've been taught. If they haven't been taught correctly, then they develop bad habits. And it's our jobs as owners to help them to learn because that's the only way they're going to get better is if they learn and they're being taught the correct method of how to, how to move dirt. So how do you go about then? What makes you a good leader and what are you doing for your guys and girls to um, ensure that they're doing things correctly? I don't know that I am a good leader, dude. Honestly, it's one of those things where, you know, like I'll rip my guys a new one, but as soon as I'm done with ripping them a new one, I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly over it. Yeah. You know, and a lot of guys will hold a grudge. I don't hold a grudge. I pull a lot of value in what you just said there that I can relate to that a hundred percent. You expect them to do things one way and they do it another way. Like I have to pull myself back in sometimes and say, okay, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? So it's going to get done whether they do it their way or whether they do it my way. So let's, let's put our heads together and let's figure out the best, most efficient way to do something. And if I don't have the time to help them to learn how to do it right or figure out what the best way is to do it, then that's on me. You know, I just have to let them do their thing and they get it done great. But, you know, there's so many times out there that, you know, they're talking about doing all these, all these tutorial videos and stuff like that. You know, that's all fine and dandy, but it's one of those things that if you don't teach your people, if you don't take the time to teach your people, they will never do it the way that you want it to be done.